Good morning, everyone. First of all, uh, thank you to be to be here. Uh, my name is Alejandro Vázquez. I'm an uh, application engineer responsible in, uh, in Guayi Compressor Barcelona. And uh, let's start with uh, with the presentation for today. First of all, uh, let me make a, a small introduction of our company. We are uh, Guayi Compressor. We are the biggest manufacturer of uh, hermetic compressors uh, in the world. Nowadays, our sale volume is around 70 million with a capacity of uh, 80 million compressors, okay? We have uh, uh, seven different facilities under the name of uh, three different brands, uh, Yi and Yashipera that are located in uh, China and uh, Cubigel or Yi Compressor Barcelona that is located in, uh, in Barcelona, in Spain. Okay, as I said before, we are uh, producers of, uh, of uh, hermetic compressors. We have a complete uh, compressor portfolio from 1.4 till 42 cubic centimeters, divided in seven different platforms, depending on the size, and with uh, different uh, refrigerants. Also, we have a complete portfolio of uh, variable speed compressors. That is the important topic uh, for today. We have uh, four different models right now available in, in our portfolio, and we are developing uh, a new one that is a uh, 14.8 cubic centimeters, the biggest uh, compressor in our portfolio for this kind of, uh, of technology. And for today, uh, I will present you a case of a study using the NVT70 FSC in an ice cream conservator. Okay, basically the benefits of uh, using a variable speed compressor combined with, uh, wait, sorry, with uh, propane is the use of a natural refrigerant with a very low GWP as is the propane, the optimized energy consumption compared with the fixed speed compressor. Also, due to these modifications of the speed during the pull down, the compressor will run always at a maximum speed. So we will decrease this, uh, this time of, of, uh, of pull down. Lower noise, why? Because the compressor at the end during a stabilized cycle is working at lower speed and compare with the equivalent model in fixed speed, the, the noise level is, uh, is reduced. Okay. So for today, this is the case of a study. Uh, we have a, an ice cream conservator uh, with uh, three uh, 16 liters, okay, that is using uh, actually is using a R290 compressor, a first generation R290 compressor. And here we have made a, a, a comparison in three different steps. The original appliance was using a first generation uh, fixed speed compressor in propane. Then we change to a second generation of uh, fixed speed compressor in propane you will see that the efficiency is improved. And as a final stage, we use a variable speed compressor using the dropping mode, which is the dropping mode. The dropping mode is uh, an autologic where the compressor is uh, modifying the speed according to the necessities of the system. It means uh, if you are putting inside your cabinet some hot, uh, uh, hot uh, product, the compressor will increase the speed because uh, the necessity of this uh, uh, cooling capacity is higher. So uh, using our internal algorithm, the compressor will modify uh, the speed in order to reach the maximum level of efficiency. Here we have the results of this uh, test. In the first column, you will see the parameters of the original 
appliance using this uh, first generation fixed speed compressor in propane with uh, the value of uh, energy consumption. The next step was to change or to replace this original compressor with a second generation uh, fixed speed compressor in propane. With this uh, compressor, we obtain a reduction in the energy consumption around 8%. That could be okay, but then we jump to uh, variable speed compressors. In case of variable speed compressors, for sure, we adjust the capillary tube and the refrigerant charge. In this step, in the second step, we just change one compressor from the other one, obtaining this 8% uh, energy consumption difference. In case of variable speed, it's important also to uh, adjust the capillary tube or the expansion device uh, and the refrigerant charge. With this new NBT70 FSC, with, in combination with uh, the drop-in mode, we obtain at the end a difference in energy consumption of 28.5%. Uh, okay. So all in all, the main benefits of uh, using this uh, technology, this variable speed technology, is an energy consumption reduction that in this particular case is 28%, uh, but in other kind of appliances and with an optimum or optimization of the refrigerant charge and the, and the expansion device, we can obtain also values around 30, 35%. Noise levels reduction. We make also a test in our acoustic chamber in Barcelona, and we saw that uh, compared with the original appliance, the noise level was reduced around three dBs. Basically, it's due to the compressor was running the 80% of the time at very low speed, obtaining good results in energy consumption and also very good results in uh, noise level. And the third one is the compact size. This variable speed compressor is using a new technology and a new cell design. Uh, that compared with the previous compressors, we obtain a reduction on the height of 25 millimeters. So it's a compact solution compared with the previous uh, fixed speed compressors in, uh, in propane. Okay. Basically, these are uh, my presentation. This is uh, the benefits of this uh, new case of a study. I don't know if uh, you have any kind of, uh, of questions. Yes. How much? <laughs> but you mean how much in terms of cost? Increased cost. Sorry. Sorry, yeah. Just increased cost versus a, a, high, a very high efficiency compressor. Uh, okay. Here, the, it's difficult to say. Also, I'm a I'm technician, not sales. So, uh, but uh, you can consider probably 30%. Thank you. Basically due to the electronic driver. We are talking about power electronics, so. It's okay. Okay, thank you very much.